Alright guys, so welcome to episode 4 of Dawson's, or Party Pick 101 Plays, uh, Survivor Series, episode 4, which is called, I think, yeah, you can run, but you can't hide. So, let's get right into the video. So we have this doctor, who's giving a serum to this random lady, who may be knocked out or not, I'm not sure. But, when we, what we found out is that there is a certain serum that the man gives to her. Or the man did give, give to her already before. But, she starts going crazy and she eventually gets loose. Eventually she gets out of her cage and there is an emergency lockdown in the facility. But he is being cha the doctor is being chased by the mutant. Getting scared as he ran away cowardly instead of fighting the creature. He eventually turns around and the mutant starts attacking him, causing him to fall over and die. Sad. So welcome to Survivors! Now, this is uh this little clip right here is where the two guards are talking about those two kids and trying to find them. Later on, these kids wake up in their camp alone, scared, confused, and have no idea where to go. But, they eventually find a way out. Not knowing what to do, they decide to go to travel through that area. Noticing that that mutant is still alive and out there somewhere. Searching through houses, trying to find th certain victims. Many, many victims. Now, later on, you see the mutant jumping across from roof to roof. But, the truth is, they start walking around, seeing if they can find any more shelter or any more people. They're tr basically trying to run away from the guards, but the guards notice them. So, they take them into a certain facility, inside of a cage, telling them that, the mu that they're alright, but the mutant is loose, that's why they're keeping them captive. So they tell the guards that they're trying to find their friends, and that they have no idea where they are, they have no idea what they're doing. So, a long while later, they decide to try to run away from the guards by egging a key from one of the guards to get out of the cave. But, a little later, they run into trouble by running back into the guards, not knowing that they did that. As the story, as the movie goes on, they eventually run back into their old campsite, where the guards find them and they run away. Shortly after, the guards make it to that campsite and decide to blow it up with TNT, while these guys are running away from their life. But, unfortunately, the new person gets locked inside, telling them that they would be okay and that he was saving, that he's gonna save their life. So later, after a while, later on, the new kid gets locked in this facility and gets blown up inside the room. They're in a train station and they have no idea where to go. They decide to look around for exits, but they can't find any at all. Whatsoever. Now, as the story continues, they eventually escape the facility by sneaking through tough, tough obstacles. Like I said, the boy says that he'll sacrifice himself for a greater good by telling them that it'll be okay and he So later on, you see the boy trapped in the room while the guards are waiting to blow the thing up. When they do eventually, they eventually leave and they hear the loud explosion, that's why they turn around. But they decide to go back to the bridge and they sit and notice that junkyard. So they decide to go to the old rusted junkyard where their fun will begin momentarily. So after, they try to blow up the facility with the boy inside. The boy gets really scared and says he doesn't want to die and that why he, it was him that he had to choose himself. And he was getting really scared that he didn't want to die at all. So the guards don't even listen and they decide to blow the place up anyways. So, they blow it up and they decide to run. They hear a loud explosion. And that's when the boy died. 
So, they decide to try to find an entrance to this junkyard. They eventually do, which leads us to the conclusion of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys 